happy new year greetings to all of you over there from positive pg medical entrance exam training center chennai madurai and tirunelveli this is a introductory session to orient you what you can expect exactly from the regular course for this 2014 academic session at positive it starts from march 2014 and goes on till october 2014 at this onset i want to dedicate this to my god the almighty sri ayyappan before jumping into the details proper i just want to explain few points here why positive how positive and few positive requests why positive was started way back in 2005 welcome to the cream of the nation registrar all india exam 1994 this was how we were welcome when we ventured into the counseling hall of the first ever all india pg medical entrance counseling which was held in the capital city two decades ago to be precise before that there was no counseling you have to write in your exam the words are still ringing in my ears naturally it was a nice free feeling which took some time to sink our feet were transiently off the ground everything was fine but something was nagging the path which we took to reach set was neither straight nor short it was a topsy turvy drive why was that were we not committed were we not motivated we were but something was missing our efforts were not not properly fine tuned we were not properly channelized in short we were not properly directed upon this is the simple reason why positive was started way back 10 years ago to make your journey to success for getting a pg seat of your choice as short as possible and as straight as possible and if possible as sweet as possible also before going into any venture not only entrance exam preparation any venture in life you should know three things where do we stand where to go how to go about as the second question is quite obvious answer is there and the third one is how what positive will be explaining you i just request the esteemed audience over there to just concentrate on the first question where do we stand to know exactly where we stand i request my junior colleagues over there to do a micro audit of your medical curriculum in nutshell i just want you to rewind your medical curriculum and see what happened when i did an unbiased micro audit of my medical curriculum two decades ago i was hit by some acidic facts but, but basic truths what is that right from day 1 of my medical curriculum i was letting down myself not actively but passively in came the first year anatomy dissection hall i will call the so called dissection hall where everything everything right from the top which the girl in the other top other table over till the current movie which was released everything was discussed and dissected in detail the cadaver lying there at ease the first lay down then came the first medical honeymoon i definitely i'll say my colleagues or junior colleagues over there will accept with me if i say the first medical honeymoon is the first clinical year where you step into clinical course in came pathology we became excellent pathologists not microscopic but macroscopic the slide with the round cover slip with plenty of air bubbles diagnosis osteosarcoma a slide with a rectangular cover slip with a broken right upper margin diagnosis pleomorphic adenoma fun and fabulous it was then frustrating and irritating it is now various degrees of let down at various phases in came lecture hall at the onset let me be very clear i can assure you positive will not be lecture hall revisited lecture hall i blame the entire system the teacher for providing an excellent sedative and calling it as lecture the student for being there not being there physically present mentally absent various degrees of let down in various phases in came 
the second honeymoon of medical curriculum for my junior colleagues who are there kind information there is there is only this is the final honeymoon you can have there are no more honeymoons in medical curriculum you are thrown into the cutthroat competitive world the second honeymoon if i say it is our juicy juicy housey everybody over there will definitely watch with me this phase when you are there passing final year exam was a herculean task once exam is passed when you enter into the house agency we tend to diffuse and one year when we diffused that is a time when you start to slacken so when i finished my medical audit this was how i felt me in neck deep sand gleefully enjoying ignorance is bliss my guys over there at the end of the medical audit of yourself if you are not in the same boat as i was two decades ago i'll be extremely happy so what i knew sajd was i'm going to run a 100 meter dash in which my counterparts from the prestigious institutes who would have prepared well in the internship for pg examinations are going to start the race at least 30 meters ahead of me and it's a child's guess that the distance between the winner and the runner is in a matter of millimeters so i envisaged the phenomenal efforts required by me if i want to come to the top it is not to threaten anyone or to frighten anyone in life most important thing is accept your limitations then stretch and try to go beyond them and succeed let me at the onset it be very clear positive is not a magical pill i won't say come here gulp it get it it is just a logical exercise with some time tested tactics i just want my junior colleagues who are there to concentrate on this this is a time which i given here please focus on the this is the subject wise i given some times just please concentrate on the middle one and one on the right one for example physiology 24 390 anatomy 32 780 what all this the one in the white one is the number of hours you are going to spend for the concerned subject at positive the one in the yellow is the number of hours you are to spend for the concerned subject at your entire medical curriculum approximately why 780 for extra hours for anatomy we know we had two hours daily dissection so the number of hours for anatomy has been increased so after putting various permutation combinations for various subjects this is what we derived positive time 1 hour of your stay at positive is equal to approximately 25 hours of your medical curriculum i just want to underline my statement so for example it is approximately 8 hours per day in one day at positive so this one day if you are there it works out to approximately 200 hours of your medical curriculum please note it so if you say i missed one day it means you are missing approximately 200 hours of your medical curriculum be at positive or fully aware of this and will make your time as we will treasure your time and make it as pleasurable as possible also secret of success is not in doing different things but in doing things differently same thing in a different style that is positive for you now i will say the gross orientation what we plan at positive and then i'll go into the microscopic orientation which you can anticipate there the first plan at positive is achilles tendon to be trim if possible excised each and every one over there will have some subject which is not their cup of tea for example for me it was biochemistry maybe it was because of ragging the initial six months went off in a jiffy the next six months went off in a flash before i could blink biochemistry was over so even now if somebody starts krebs cycle tc cycle i just disappear into thin air i try to wrestle with the standard textbook of biochemistry but to no avail so what i thought was out of the 15 odd questions which comes in all india or any exam from biochemistry i can set it aside i can just concentrate for one or two questions in biochemistry and then compensate in the other subjects and then 
come to the top. 20 years back, we had this luxury. Currently, in this cutthroat competitive world, unfortunately, you guys do not have this luxury. So, you cannot afford to relax in one subject and then try to come to the top. This is where we step in. When a consultant comes in and puts it very clearly and simply, and if you come prepared, if your doubts are cleared then and there, your weak point will be excised, your Achilles tendon will be excised, you will feel a fresh leash of blood in you and this confidence will rub on to the other subjects and you will become a different personality from then. This is the first primary orientation at positive. Focus on the unfocused. What does this mean? Some subjects in our UG curriculum were not given much weightage. They form a reasonable amount in entrance examinations. To quote a few examples, RT. We didn't even have a class of RT, but there are around 5 to 7 questions at RT. So, topics which are not focused during your UG curriculum will, given, will be given little extra weightage so that we will try to cover them also. Course adjustment versus fine tuning. As I already told you, we are trying to squeeze 4 and a half years into 45 odd days. It is like trying to squeeze a big banyan tree into a small capsule which needs commitment, extraordinary commitment from both ends. So, in 45 odd days, it will be difficult to course suggest an individual. One request, kindly come to us as uncut raw diamonds. We assure you, we will make you into Kohinoors. The next strategy at positive, no st stone left unturned, every nook and corner visited. Guys, what is the definition of important pages as far as entrance is concerned in any subject? You will definitely accept if I say, any page from which a previous question has been asked in an examination becomes automatically important. If you look at it like that, there is nothing called as important pages, every page becomes important. So, we will try to cover as much as possible in the time constraint we get. The next strategy at positive is reinforcement versus mopping up. For example, I am giving a sample, one topic, embryology. Embryology in your UG days, you would have had at least 20 classes. In our positive, for a consultant, we have just one class for embryology. It might not be possible to finish all the topics. So, the week after that, we have an examination, pre-test pre exam on the concerned topic. And then at the month end, we have a model exam. Towards the course end, we have two more model exams. So, each topic will be filtered at least 4-5 times. So, what is left over in our consulting class will be tried to ask in the pretest. What is left over in the pretest will be asked in the model exams. This will keep on going so that all topics will be covered as much as possible in depth. Embryology is one sample. Depress you to elevate you. What is it? The examinations, mock examinations we have at positive will try to make the questions as tough as possible to make you feel insecure, inadequate, not enough. So that we will try to keep you always on your toes so that your performance will definitely improve. It won't be a place where we come and try to display our cerebral cortex but it will be absolutely entrance oriented, tailor made for your entrance exam preparation. Back to basics. Let me be very clear, positive is basics, 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 rock solid basics. A word about my consultants, it's a capricious blend of experienced veterans and energetic youth. The only bottom line which is common to all is the passion to teach, which you can perceive in the classes. Now, I'll just go into how positive, little more microscopic orientation of positive you can anticipate. For this, I'll just introduce my consultants, session details, study materials, exams, study environment and most importantly, positive specials. Coming to the consultants, I personally presume they are the axis of the wheel of any entrance exam training center. In choosing the consultants, we never compromise an inch. Consultants, in my opinion, are your sculptors, hand-picked consultants from various centers are chosen and given to you so that 
all topics will be covered by the best possible faculty. Due to some administrative constraints, the exact details are not given. I just give some important fact file of each faculty over there. Anatomy, a consultant is professor and HOD with a vast entrance exam experience of around 10 to around 15 to 16 years. The strength of the, my consultant is simple and methodical way of teaching, excellent use of applied anatomy and excellent use of PowerPoint. Coming to the physiology, associate professor, entrance exam experience around 12 years. The strength, excellent way of making candidates understand and most importantly enjoy the subject. Very strong in basics. And a complete handout is given. Coming to biochemistry, assistant professor, around 4 to 5 years of teaching experience. One point which I noticed and got from my students. The consultant can make biochemistry interesting. Unfortunately, we didn't have such people way back. Makes you understand biochemistry as never before. Covers quality genetics also. Coming to SPM, again, a young and energetic consultant, around five years of experience in entrance examination. Most importantly, I always say this, statistically significant because in my opinion, there are few questions in the exam hall which I call morale boosters. One is any question regarding acid-base balance. Second, a sum regarding acid-base balance. Second, any question regarding SPM statistics. If you are able to methodically decipher these questions and come out with the correct answer, your confidence in the exam hall will become sky high even though if it is just one or two questions if you can answer them comfortably and confidently your confidence level will become high sky high and those three hours confidence level of you inside the exam hall will decide the final result pharmacology one more young dynamic person assistant professor 10 years of teaching experience drives in the basics of pharmacology, covers quality medicine also. Coming to my ENT consultant, associate professor, 15 to 16 years of experience in entrance exam teaching, a very very unique style of teaching, excellent way of unique style of teaching, you can experience that in the classroom, it will be a shower of information, absolutely thought provoking, can make you answer any question from ENT in any examination in the country. Coming to forensic medicine, your reader, experience around 6 to 7 years in, in exam teaching. Simple and hilarious way of teaching forensic medicine. Most or more authentic point, the only PhD holder in forensic medicine in the entire state. Coming to surgery, since it's a big subject, we have split into split and given it to two consultants so that it, it will be beneficial for our students. The one of the primary consultant is our esteemed professor, a vast, very vast experience in entrance and teaching, 17 years. The master brain begin entrance examination training covers subject in depth. The quality which I admire in him, he updates methodically even now. <laughs> the other consultant is our good friend, associate professor, around 15 years of teaching experience very very clear in basics anesthesiology psychiatry neurology since it's a specialized one we have a consultant neurologist who have who has a teaching experience of approximately 10 years he is as old as positive as far as entrance is concerned covers subject completely makes neurology lively because he himself is a live wire cardiology a dynamic cardiologist Entrance training approximately 5 years, covers subjects completely, makes you understand the intricacies of cardiology which will be very handy in entrance examinations. Ophthal, a professor of ophthalmology, around 7 years of experience in teaching, excellent use of pictures to explain is his strength. Nephrology and Operation Harry is by myself, this team 
in my opinion, it is in par or better than any team in the country. The team in the country. Now, I'll go into the session details. In Chennai, we start in March and we go on till October 2014. The session will be on Sundays and second Saturdays, timing will be from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Each session is approximately two hours, four sessions per day. Pre-test, every Sunday we have, a mock, we have a mock exam from the subject which was completed the week before. It will be from 8 to 8.30 a.m. 50 question from previous week's portion. Results will be declared. Only request to my guys over there, if you are with us, kindly write all examinations. We have mock examination. Coming to the model exams, we have two more towards October, November in 2014. One purely non clinical subjects, one comprising all subjects. So that at the, just before we go, it can be a revision, excellent revision for the main examinations. This will try to keep it online in our polls, positive online exam series. Now, coming to the positive specials. On the right side, I have given you some various years. What are they? These were the exam, various exam, entrance examinations I appeared when I was preparing for my entrance PG examination. This is not to frighten you or threaten you. Only if you write so many exams, you will get it. This is to underline two facts. There was success and passion behind entrance examinations. So, naturally, when we started this way back a decade ago, this was positive's ultimate dream. Not to make it the best in the state, but to make it the best in the country. To become the best in your field, you need something indigenous, something little extra edge so that you can score over others. Keeping that in mind, we produced various programs called as Positive Pearls. I'll just summarize them. Operation Harry, Positive Intensive Care Unit, this can be also called as Positive Platina Program, Operation Harry Capsule, Recent Advances Program and Posse Gold. There is one register we have, something called as CQ register we maintain and a report we give at the end of the course called as Positive Progress Report. I'll explain in detail later. And coming to each program, first program I'll just start with my Operation Harry capsule and this program has been conducted with a reasonable rather reasonable success for the past four sessions so for people who want to know exactly what is that they can kindly log on to your YouTube to know about this program coming to operation Harry capsule this can be considered the brainchild of positive this program pictorially if you want me to represent it is like taking the 18 days of Harrison and putting it to this and giving it to you like this. In nutshell, this is OHC for you. OHC on top of your positive regular course will try to provide outstanding results in your main examinations. A sample question which I want to convey regarding the quality of the operationary book. A question was asked in All India 2012 regarding all have episodic weakness except choices were channelopathy, eaton lambert syndrome, hypercalcemia and hyperphosphatemia. A similar question was asked in All India 2006 also. Not many books used for entrance exams could have answered this. It was given our handouts. It was regarding your electrolyte disturbance, hypokalemia, hyperkalemia, hypo and hypernatremia, hypercalcemia, hypermagnesemia and hypercetemia. The catch was regarding hypo, all hypo will cause episodic weakness except calcium. All hyper will cause episodic weakness except phosphate. This idea was utilized in two questions, one in 2006 and one six years later in 2012. A well thought question by the exam setter. This was plumb there in our book. The next question which I can never forget is a question regarding which is not an endogenous pyrogen asked in All India 2012. All positivians should have answered this. More information news regarding this. We had an introductory session last year 
two years back one of our junior colleagues who came for the session came to me at the end of the class and told me I am joining positive just for IL-18 this was in our handouts and we in our session we had a mock question which was much before the routine exam in which the question was asked pick out the one which is not a pyrogenic cytokine which was there in our handout much before which came it came in the main examination about Harry Operation Harry, what my toppers has to say, this is regarding my topper in All India 2012, 16th rank in All India, the exact words which she summed up Operation Harry book. There are some questions which can be answered only from that. It was those questions which gave us an edge over others. What is this? It is called as a deep sea pearl. I always say Harrison is a deep sea pearl. It has got a lot of chisels and bristles which are not required for entrance examinations. We have cut down all these chisels and bristles and put it in a nutshell and hand it to you, to you like this. Only request, don't try to chisel anymore because I have chiseled enough. If you try to chisel more, you will lose the juicy part. Coming to the next program we have at Positive is what I told you regarding Positive Intensive Care Unit or it can be also called as positive platina program this is a program it's a package extra package from our regular course to reinforce this is ideal for full timers a person who's sitting full time and trying to prepare for entrance examinations in my opinion should not see a second year in entrance exam preparation if it is done there is some wrong somewhere either with the, with the system somewhere it is not a, the correct track so this is a program which we have formulated for full timers so that they will definitely get their seat of choice in the institute of choice in the shortest time possible how it is done it is on x it is on weekdays also it will be approximately four hours in the evening from three to seven on all wednesdays and monthly one monday monthly one monday the important topics from the 18th edition will be discussed in detail for four to five hours on all Wednesdays it is called as recapitulation and rejuvenation the initial two hours will be a recapitulation of what has happened in the previous Sunday's class at positive the concerned subject will be discussed for at least two hours on that day so that it will be a thorough revision for you the next half of the same session can be called as rejuvenation. It is to rejuvenate yourself with what is going to happen in the upcoming week at positive. So we will prime you for two hours regarding the subject which is going to come in the coming week Sunday at positive. It is ideal for full timers. What we target is target what is our mission regarding this program is to provide 100% success for any full timer who is with us for the next who is going to be with us for the next 7 to 8 months so that as I already told you he should not see a second year in entrance exam preparation the gentleman who gets all his credit is Dr. Tinsley Harrison the next program is Posse Gold Gold is always gold so we, call, we have put this program as Posse Gold it's an assortment of all previous recent previous years questions and answers only candidates who wrote aims november 2013 would have known at least 50 questions from that paper was from repeats so what i always say toppers are ruthless as far as old questions are concerned they will corner each and every question i always say a rule regarding old question one is equal to hundred if you if the for example if 50 questions were asked from previous questions and if you come out and say i have answered 49 questions i have just missed one questions sorry to say kindly do not see your rank in the first hundred it will not be there if you miss one question old question it will be you'll be losing at least 100 marks what is the other most important thing regarding old questions for example, in all India, you have 300 questions in 300 of hours. Each question, it will work out to approximately 45 seconds per question. Suppose if it's an old repeat one, 
the number of seconds you should spend for that concern question should be less than 2 seconds. So that if it is 50 questions, you will try to finish within 2 to 3 minutes. The time you take from here, you have to throw it into the new tough questions which will be definitely asked in any examination. This is the way to play inside the exam hall. We have a register called as CQ register. I don't believe in IQ because whoever has come to this course will have an IQ somewhere around 95 to 110. It is neither below nor above that. But what I personally believe firmly is something called as commitment quotient. Commitment quotient can vary from 0 to 100 percentage. So we have four registers at the entrance. When you come to the regular, pos regular class, we have four registers superscribed as 0 to 1 hour per day, 1 to 5 hours per day, 5 to 10 hours per day, more than 10 hours per day. What are these? These are the number of hours a concerned candidate would have spent for entrance exam preparation in the week prior. So there are four books. So the idea behind the book was towards the midway of the course, somewhere in June, July, two books should be removed. That was the idea behind the program. I know you would have guessed which two books have no role after June, July. In this CQ register, which is kept in the front office at positive, we request our candidates to enter in and then come to the regular class. Every day at the end of the class, I try to look into that to assess exactly where my junior colleagues are progressing. One day when I went through the commitment question book, I went into the first book, 0 to 1 hour per day, there was no entry. I was happy. I went into the next book which was superscribed as 1 to 5 hours per day, there again was no entry. I became extremely happy. I went into the next book which was superscribed as 5 to 10 hours per day, there again to my amazement there was no entry. I became euphoric and mildly tachycardic with much anticipation, anticipating all my students to be there in the 10 hours per day, more than 10 hours per day register. When I opened, to my dismay, nobody's name was there. Then only I realized none of them has entered in there. One humble request, whether positive maintains a CQ register or not, the man above maintains a commitment quotient and your ranks will be directly decided by that. Little more involvement, little more commitment from you guys. Now coming to the positive handouts. I personally feel they are like discharge summaries of the hospital. They are like the biopsy of a center. In giving that, it is a printed format of passionate work of around 30 consultants. It is an indexed booklet. It will be reasonably complete. It cannot replace your books, but it can be an apt supplement to your books. Coming to must know tables, it's an indigenous program we have. Selected tables from standard textbooks. Tailor made for entrance examinations, more tables for peripheral subjects, RT and RD example, provided in the handouts will be useful for exclusion. Totally around 300 tables will be there. When we were preparing for our exams, this luxury was not there. Around 8 of us were preparing. So what we thought was, whatever is important when they prepare, the concerned person should write it down. And we chose a place to stick it. Fortunately, it was my room. Everybody will come and check it. So towards the end of examination, you won't believe it, the entire wall of my room was completely filled with tables. Some tables from some books. Somebody's handwriting was not all that good, but even then it was there. So that what my friends used to do it, when they go for the morning bath and all, they come with the brush, go through the tables methodically. This is how we prepared and for a kind information, in the 1994 All India examination, all 8 of us who prepare for the examination cornered ranks within the first 100 ranks. So what we did, what we, we request you to do the same thing, my humble request, and to put some efficacy of this, of this MKT, one example, which was a question asked in Ames, November 2012, and abortus was removed from postmortem. Length was 2 cm, weight was two, approximately around 2 grams. What is the approximate age of it? Ultimate question to prove the efficacy of MKT. Choices were 2 weeks, 
4 week, 6 week and 8 weeks. This MKT was not given in forensic medicine but it was methodically given under pediatrics. The concerned week and the concerned development was given and this boiled down to 6 weeks. So this is what I request. We have tried to give you the tables in such a way that the page behind that might not have important tables so that one request kindly tear it and stick into your place where you will see frequently. Kindly replace your Roshans and Rice as pinups with MKTs and you can curse us if you do not do well in exams. If you do that, at least your parents will feel that you are preparing well in the, for the exams. Now coming to positives dictum, we have something called as rule of one. What we say, if suppose a question has four very similar choices with some modulation in each stem, we always say the answer if you are not knowing, go for one, 90% of the time you might be correct. This is what at positive we call it rule of one. What a uh, uh, normal exam setter will do is, he will try to frame the first answer correctly and then, then make some modulations in the next three stems and give it. This is the routines, not routine track of any normal exam setter. This rule might not hold good if the exam setter is a saddest. Now coming to positive progress report, this we try to give it at the end of the course for each individual. We cannot give you the rank, we can give you the provisional mark you might get in the exams which will be coming later. This will be given in a sealed cover to you so that you can try to open it after the exams. I don't want to depress you before the exams itself. An example to say how well we can assess is a progressive report we gave to Dr. Elavarasi who was with us in 2010 for a kind information. Dr. Elavarasi scored the third rank in AIMS November 2010. She has finished her MD General Medicine at AIMS now. At present, now, we gave around 69 percentage for her. The one request we made kindly tried to outsmart us, and she promptly did that and conquered the country way back in AIMS November 2010. So, positive can assess you reasonably well. Now, coming to positive three commandments. What's it? It's very simple. Study hours 14 hours per day. We'll be happy if it is 16 hours plus also. We don't mind that. MCQs at least 200 per day. Harry 10 per pages per day. After going through the grill and drill of positive, what percentage of questions will be covered in various exams at positive? Any exam at positive, what percentage is covered? I can give you a split up. My consultants, I marked C. My MKTs, MKM, then the Harrison, Posi Gold, Recent Advances, Operation Capsule, all program put together can touch 80 percentage. Rest 20 percentage which is untouched, I have superscribed as SP. What is that? What is the expansion of SP? SP can be expanded into sadistic pleasure of whom the exam setter. Even if you come as an exam setter, you will try to frame some questions which others cannot touch for the simple reason to make your presence felt. One example always positive is evidence based, one example for a sadistic pleasure question. Glowing of firefly is due to, apart from such questions, anything under the sun inside the exam hall will be reasonably covered at positive. What is the conversion rate of full timers at positive? Nearing 100 percentage. 2012 we had Dr. Asha who scored the 16th rank in All India 2012, Dr. Shakir who scored the 27th rank in AIMS May 2012, Dr. Mubarak Sasira who scored the rank 25th OBC in PGI November 2012. She also scored somewhere around 100 ranks in last year's NEET PG and currently she is undergoing MD Radiology. If a handful of full timers at positive can come to the top, if positive gets 50 odd full timers, we can reserve the first 50 odd seats in any entrance examination in the country. If God asked me, have you done your duty towards positive with head held high, I will say yes sir. 
if the world asks me i will always say my students the position of my head depend on your ranks guys and two years back my guys provided this i asked for one head which is to be held high my guys provided this they gave me the first three ranks in t and 2012 was from positive 2012 it was shower of ranks for positive rank 1 rank 2 and rank 3 was from positive but i told them i was not satisfied not enough three heads are not enough for me i just want this the first 15 all ranks from any examinations should be teeming with positive ends this is our desire this is our dream and this is what we move towards each and every day aims may aims november 2014 all india pg 2014 pga may and november 2014 the various state examinations including tamil nadu 2014 should be conquered the top ranks from positive after conquering the state way back in 2012 the next target for positive is this 1 2 3 from the top institutes should be from students who were trained in our institute who is he he is called as a dowser who is a dowser dowser is a gentleman who will say with some technique dig here james will be there dig there what will be there by some indigenous technique positive in a way does the role of dowser but one important different between a dowser and positive is positive is absolutely scientific and evidence based some mathematics 40 out of 40 is equal to 1 the small algebra taught me the gist of life 2012 the first rank candidate in tamil nadu dr shiva madhavi at the end of the session when there was a felicitation function for her she came and told i have attended all 40 sessions as positive now i have conquered the first rank i am extremely happy the same day i went back into the entire attendance register of positive students in that center to my amazement not a single candidate apart from her has come for all 40 sessions in that particular center the efficacy this underlines the efficacy of the program the other punctuals who also got outstanding ranks in the concerned examinations 2010 dr elavarasi she came for 38 out of 40 sessions conquered the rank 3 in aims november 2010 dr komalavalli she came for 37 of for for the classes she got the rank second in tn 2011 in 2012 it became even better now coming to the positive study environment if you want me to summarize it in one word it won't be like some speciality hospitals where every part is taken care by some ogest but the person as a whole is taken care by none it will be a center with a soul you can interact you can put away doubts your apprehensions will try to do as much as possible this you can perceive when you are with us now we into the so far i have told what you can expect from us now i am going to say what i'll be expecting from my candidates at positive we do a candidate audit audit also and we separate individuals into five categories by same thing cq not iq the first category we say not committed with commitments that is not actually oriented towards exams with some family commitments i hope nobody will be there in this class the next class is partially committed with commitments they want some seat in some institute sometime and they have got some social commitments i'll say 20% commitment they have the next group i say is partially commitment committed but with no commitments for example they are not very keen on getting the pg seat of their choice but they don't have any social commitments the next group i always say they are fiercely committed but unfortunately they have some social commitments so that they cannot allot their full time for entrance exam preparation the last category is the one i always say positive is craving for 
fiercely committed. What is the definition of fierce commitment? Each and every cell of you should aspire to get a PGC of choice in the shortest time possible. When such individuals are there with no specific social commitments, this is what I say, the cream of the cake. This is what positive is craving for. Once we get it, we will try to do what all we have planned so far. Coming to positive requests, if you are with us or not, if you are just preparing for entrance examinations, you need three points. As a, as a nephrology, the exam, the request can be summarized as pre-exam results, pre-exam requests, exam requests and post-exam requests. Coming to pre-exam requests, only three. The first is called, I always say, fire in the belly. You should have a, dis, you should have a burning desire in you to, so that you want to get it, the PG seat of your choice at the shortest time possible. Kindly look at the concentration this gentleman has. This sort of unalloyed focused concentration is the need of the hour for entrance exam preparation because this gentleman will know if he takes his eye out of that for a moment he knows exactly what will happen. The next one I will always say killer instinct. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by clear instinct as far as entrance is concerned? Suppose you plan to, plan to read 50 pages for this concerned night. It has become 1 o'clock. If you come to only 30 pages, what will you do? Shut it and sleep? Or will you try to put it out, put it completely? One of my friend who was preparing for his PG preparation way back when we, when we were preparing, used to kneel down and read after dinner. You know the obvious reason for that. This is not for one or two days. This is continuous for months together. In the bargain, we know once we do that, we will develop some bursitis. But in the bargain, he became an orthopedician. In life, it is very simple. You sacrifice something and achieve something. The next one, I always say, become possessed. When I show this picture, immediately you will promptly say, put out this gentleman's name. Was he a famous politician? Was he a famous sportsman? No. But whatever he did, he did it from his bottom of his heart. That is the reason this great soul still lives in our mind. That is what I request. If you are preparing for entrance examinations, put your heart and soul behind that. Post exam, your request has been trimmed to two only. Pray and prepare. What to pray? <coughs> to pray that whatever hazarded guesses you took in the examinations to come true. Sometimes that may tilt the favor in your that, that, that may tilt the balance in your favor. The next one is most most important. Prepare as if you have not written the examination till you get your seat of choice and go and sign in the first day of your postgraduate curriculum. Do not relax. If you come to us, if you become a positive family member, we have requests becomes commandments. I told you these three commandments should be followed by any ideal positive end. What is the positive mantra? Eat MCQ, drink MCQ, sleep MCQ. It may look or sound childish. It was whacked from a famous sports ad which came around a decade ago. What, the, what was the point they were trying to convey? Become obsessed. Whether you like it or not, the next six months or nine months, your bread and butter should be MCQs, MCQs, MCQs. MKTs, if you are with positive, should it should become pinups. What are the exams to be written? No bias in examinations. One kind request, write all PG medical entrance examinations under the sun. As simple as that. And positive day in the concern session, what we request? First and foremost, 100% attendance. Second, attend all exams, model and pretest. One kind request, please hand over the answer sheets of the concerned exam paper because habits die hard. Run along with us. This is the, we'll be happy if you can overtake us. This is the program schedule we want our positiveians to plan for the next seven to nine months. 
on Monday to Wednesday, revise previous week's topics. On Thursday to Friday, prepare for the coming week's topics at positive. Saturday, revise again for the pre-test which will be there on the morning of Sunday. On Sunday, come and please fire at positive. What are the positive bachelor's destination? By this, I mean people who are not committed with any social commitment so that they are at liberty to go anywhere and read. What are the destinations? In my opinion, these four institutes should be the ideal destination for a full-time man. CMC Bellor, Jibma, PGI and undoubtedly AIMS. God blessed me so that I was able to have a stint of two to three years in Jibma and in CMC Velour, two extremely good, excellent institutes in the country. Regarding commitment, so far for the past 10 years, I have been associated with approximately around three to 4,000 candidates. If you want to choose one candidate from that for commitment, no other name come to me but for Dr. Baskar. Dr. Baskar was with us way back in 2007. He had 100% contraindication, all contraindications for entrance preparation. What are the contraindications for entrance preparation? If he is in any service, government service, it is 20% contraindication, he was in that. If you do some practice outside, it is another 20% contraindication, he was doing that. If you are married, in my opinion, it is not 20% contraindication, it is 100% contraindication. He was married. If you have a children, daddy one day is gone. With such absolute contraindications, this gentleman finished his BCH way back in 2001. After a stint of around 6 to 7 years, he came. Most importantly, he used to come to our center. When he was there, our operation here class started around 7 a.m. I wonder if I start my class at 7 a.m. now, I might have to talk to empty chairs only. But the team we had, had an extraordinary commitment. This gentleman, Dr. Baskar, came from a place which was around 200 kilometers from the center. Exactly at 7 o'clock, before I walk into the hall, he'll be there. Not for one week, for the 30 to 35 weeks, it was like that. Phenomenal commitment. I will ask at what time you will get up and start for the class, 3.30 a.m. My young Turks over there, this sort of commitment is required if you want to conquer the country. Naturally, God answered. He got a second rank. A pediatrician transformed into an orthopedician. He finishes orthopedics and now he is specializing in pediatric orthopedics abroad. All the best, Dr. Bhaskar. For my full-timers, I cannot give you any better example than Dr. Bhaskar. Then with 100% contraindication, he was, to, he was able to produce phenomenal ranks with no contraindications. My guys over there, you should produce outstanding results. Positive full-timers, ideal package we have, operationary, operationary capsule, PICU, positive intensive care unit or I call that as positive platina program which is an accessory package on a regular course, recent advances and so on. If this program cannot succeed, God knows what will. Let us together make the world turn and look at us admiringly. From the house agents, CRRI, a word here. What does MBBS stand for? In a lighter vein, in a labor room posting, we say MBBS, you can expand it like this, as at least as far as labor order is concerned. It is in lighter vein, it is not to, it is just a, in lighter vein. M stands for methergin, B stands for blood pressure, B stands for BP measure monitoring, and S stands for syntosinone. This is at least for a male intern at labor room, at least when you were there, 20 years back, fun apart, what I request for my house agents because in my opinion, the time when you start to slacken till your 
final years, you are in par with anybody in the country. Towards the end of final year or towards the end of pre-final, a guy who is oriented towards PG entrance examinations wakes up and starts his preparation. And a guy, what can be done in your CRI posting? Because I have also gone through your CRI, I know exactly how taxing it will be. So what I request, only requ first request, attend your postings regularly. Don't bunk your postings and try to prepare. You will never do either. Read at least five hours, four to five hours per day in a non-admission day. If you are with us in the concern center, you can attend as many sessions as possible. Most importantly, try to get it at the first shot itself. This is what precisely Dr. Vinayamani, who was a positivian last year, did it. He was with us in his pre-final year, year. He was with us again in his CRRI. He wrote NEET 2012 last year. When he wrote this exam, he was in his labor ward posting. He just got permission that night, traveled around 500 kilometers to reach Chennai and he wrote the examination and went back and finally with this arduous task he conquered the country right. his rank was all India rank was 26th in NEET 2012 my CRRIs and interns watching this will definitely vouch with me if I say getting this rank during internship is something which is phenomenally great Hats off to Dr. Vinayamani. Currently, Dr. Vinayamani is a young budding radiologist at Delhi. All the best and may God bless Dr. Mani. For my pre-finals and final year students, as I told, the mission of this year will be to churn out more and more monies, Vinayamani's. I will always say to my pre-final years because pre-final is a year, it is one year, it is just three subjects, you have ample time because in final year, it is one year, you got five subjects, it might be difficult to read the previous subjects. So the ideal time to wake up is during pre-final years. So that if you, the request was you can attend all your UG classes, most importantly I always say attend them mentally if possible also because when I was doing my UG period we, we don't used to bunk classes we were there for all classes but physically but both physically and mentally only for few classes and those classes even now I need not revise at all I will just ponder if only I had been present both physically and mentally for all UG classes one to two years of preparation will not be needed at all. You can attend all the regular classes. One request to all my pre-final and final students, try to write all medal exams. What is the paradox in preparation which I have seen for the past one decade? We know the normal study graph of any individual will be from March, it will be one to two hours per day. It might increase to four to five hours in mid June, July. It will touch around 10 to 14 hours in October. This is the normal study graph. Who is this gentleman? The so called Superman. How his study graph will be? It will be naturally around 10 to 14, year, 14 hours in March, 5 to 6 hours in June, July. It will wake up around 1 to 2 hours during towards your October, November, towards the exams. Positive was fortunate to have a lot of supermen and superwomen. Initial classes in March, April, the entire hall is full. June, July, 50% dwindles away. October, November, around 30 to 40% only are retained. But in my limited experience in the past 10 years, I have never seen a single candidate who was dropped out and got decent ranks in the exams. Only people who have stood continuously and stuck on have conquered the state or the country. What is this? It's a study from a reputed institute from USA regarding average information retention rate. It's a pyramid. 
the top one says 5% if I suppose a lecture is given the percentage which is retained is just 5 percentage I beg to differ with that I will say it is just 1 to 2 percentage even the best of lecture if you come down the pyramid there is one column which says 90 percentage what is that teach others bar immediate use of learning immediate use of learning is for any procedure which cannot be done in entrance examinations can be can the other one be done teach others definitely it can be done to put it what is it called as discuss 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 I want to refine my statement academics 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 because I also know what the discussion will go on in hostels never compromise one simple request I make to my young Turks over there Fic don't fix your target somewhere MD or MS within one year don't bring it to a diploma and then sway from that fix it for example if you want to want a dress you thought this color this design sorry for example if you go to a shop if it is not there what will you do if you are not married no problem if you are married the guy is finished he comes behind you like a zombie cannot open his mouth he'll come to all the 10 odd shops you go you might come to the same shop and choose the same one which you discarded first but what you have done you are not compromised in choosing a dress which you are going to wear for just six or six months to one year but this dress is for your life nephrologist is for my life logician or surgeon is for your life in that never never ever compromise if it is the rank positive has plethora of programs to corner the fish so that the fish cannot elude us entrance exam results previously it was sickening to see the other flag fly but recently the commandos in my team has tried to do this and we have produced decent to extraordinary ranks in the examinations thanks to all those who achieved and make made us proud this is what we desire the first second third I won't mind even the first ten in any exam should be thieving from our unit books recommended nothing great Harry Park and Genong these three books with our regular class will be sufficient to come out with flying colors in exams to put it in a nutshell positive pearls each and every handout we call as positive pearl those 20 odd handouts plus consultant class notes plus our operationary capsule is will provide 100% success who see the great Einstein what is he called as he's called as a genius regarding our regarding a postgraduate entrance preparing gentleman he has put he has given one specific class what is that it is not that I am so smart it is just that I stay with the problem longer by a gentleman who was presumed to be a genius this is what I want you to imbibe precisely I don't believe that each individual's cortex is differently built cortex is same commitment differs to put it in this way toppers do not have two horns but their sweat glands definitely work over time and we presume that you don't suffer from ectodermal dysplasias this is a marathon where are you in a marathon people who run the race will be approximately 50 to 60 or thousand in the race of the PG entrance examination in all India or aims it might be somewhere beyond that in all India it might be one lakh bow in aims it will be somewhere around 70,000 and please take it from me my professor always says always say medical provision is a race of horses not of mules nobody is a mule here everybody is a race horse so it needs extraordinary commitment from you to outsmart the other race horse and win the race what is this if you get entangled in a pool of water what will be your mind thinking about will it be thinking about some score in the cricket match 
nothing nothing only one thing you will think how to get out the pg preparing guys mission should be how should i get it this is regarding the horse and the water we can pat the horse we can put in a nice bridle and take the horse to the water but we cannot put in a rail tube and feed horse also should interact it should be phenomenal commitment from both ends to make extraordinary ranks if we do what we have promised so far and if you do what we have requested then sky is the limit is this a word of arrogance or of self confidence there are thin line of demarcation between these two terminologies but what i always say when love and skill work together expect a miracle what is the nightmare of a pg aspirant i put it in a nutshell to sit outside the counseling hall and pray that others do not opt for a choice the one and only time in your life when you pray for others suppose if you want md rd or ms ortho if the other guy will pray that the other will get whatever seat he can get it except your choice when i say here it might look funny but when i sit outside the counseling hall it's an agony why this unnecessary turmoil if you put up little more extra efforts get a right royal rank and storm open the doors get a seat of your choice and come out legally this is what an ideal pg aspirant should do and this is what positive will try to channel is you to do it in nutshell what we did when we were preparing for entrance examinations plus what we longed for when we were preparing for exams is given to you in a gold plate and called it as positive for example when we were preparing there was no such training centers to help you out in some problems suppose we had some doubts we requested the post graduates in the concerned subjects for example ofsel and all and they were magnanimous to ask them to ask us to come after their duty times we go somewhere in 10 or 11 pm they used to teach us this is how we learned what all we learned now we have tried to put it in a nutshell so that what is the final mission of positive 2014 beyond routine books but within the domain of any entrance exam paper should be discussed at positive this is what we have tried to do it what is the ultimate dream of positive 2014 welcome to the cream of the nation five star all india 2014 november tamil nadu state exam or your state exams aims 2014 and pga 2014 this is how guys sitting over there should be addressed upon is it possible guys when i put up this question to my regular batch students i always say at least for my satisfaction put up your hands gentlemen fun apart if you attend all sessions both physically and mentally and attend all positive specials and if you are well versed with positive handouts each and every word i say here i just to try to underline that you should be in a position to top any entrance examination in the country it is not the end it is not even the beginning of the end it is just the end of the beginning a long way to go all the best guys for your future endeavor in whatever you try to do it but i just given in a nutshell what you can expect from positive what the entrance exam preparation expects from you so that you can challenge yourself because time is there i always finish off with this picture from bhagavad gita the gist of bhagavad gita can be summarized as you all know in one sentence do your duty don't expect anything in return you i put it my students and p i put it as positive because when we started initially ranks were not coming all the way so i always say i will do my duty but i am not arjuna 
I need ranks in return from my colleagues who will be coming to my to, to our center. Thanking you for your patient audience. Positively yours. May God bless you all in the future endeavors, in all your future examinations. May your parents' blessings and God's blessings be always there so that you will try to come out with flying colors in the examinations. All the best. Positive welcomes you all for its various centers at Chennai, Madurai or Nellai for the marathon ahead for the next nine odd months. All the best guys. Thank you for the patient audience. May God bless you all and your parents' blessings be with you in all your future endeavors so that you have to come out with flying colors in the examinations. Thanks a lot again.